Beyond Reichland, Ostermark, and the reach of the Empire stands a frozen bulwark. Kislev, a fractured kingdom besieged from within and without by enemies of ideology and chaos. Tsarina Katerin, daughter of Tsar Boris the Beloved, rules from the peaks of the Boka Palace in the city of Kislev. The Ice Queen must lean heavily on her ice court if she means to bring order and security to these turbulent lands. There are those who do not approve of Katerin's reign and would sooner see themselves in power. It's from Castle Alexandrinov, stronghold of the Great Orthodoxy and seat of Supreme Patriarch Kostaltin, that the Tsarina faces the most immediate threat to her rule. These two Kislevite figureheads vie for the people's devotion, so they might employ powerful boons from their pantheon of gods. the north, between the northern and eastern oblasts, stands the cursed city. Prague is the bastion of the north, a title earned through blood, corruption, and endless siege. A dying, tainted beast thrashing against the inevitability of its fate. Far from Kislev's frosty plains loom the deadly mountains of Morn. Here, ogres and other merciless beasts make their home, though none more awe-inspiring than the deified Firemouth Volcano, from which magic-wielding ogres known as Firebellies draw their considerable power. Ivory Road, the Great Hall of Gerisus can be smelt before seen. Inside, Gerisus Goldtooth the Overtyrant counts his riches and gorges on the spoils of his bountiful greed, all the while accepting mercenary contracts from anyone with deep enough pockets. Further east, straddling the border between the mountains of Morn and Grand Cathay, is the narrow Worm Pass. Though far from home, Scrag the Slaughterer and his insane rabble have pilgrimaged from the west to pay tribute to the Great Moor, their violent god. Scrag drags behind him a mountain of bloody offerings to feed the beast in exchange for sinister rewards. Bordering these terrible mountains are the isolated lands of Grand Cathay. Past the Warpstone Desert in the heart of the wastelands of Jinxin, Xiao Ming defends Han Yu Port from brazen ogres and burrowing Skaven. It is the duty of the dragon siblings to maintain the harmony between Yin and Yang. Doing so will ensure Grand Cathay's strength and prosperity.
On the most eastern edge of Grand Cathay is the capital city of the Celestial Loyalists, Wei Jin, above which hangs the Celestial City, home of the Dragon Emperor. With the turn of the Wu Jing Compass, the Dragon Emperor's children can carve out Cathay's fate, economic powerhouse or machine of war. The Compass decides. The Great Bastion snakes and weaves across miles of country, physically separating Grand Cathay from the chaos wastes beyond. For centuries has this wall stood firm, repelling legions upon legions of twisted demons and foul chaos worshippers. The Cathayans must remain vigilant, for the threat of invasion is ever growing. Past the lands of stone and steel is Gunpowder Road, home of Nangao and Miao Ying. From here, the Storm Dragon rules the northern provinces and garrisons the Great Bastion. To fund such a task, she dispatches caravans along the Ivory Road, trading with distant lands beyond the mountains. Hers is the task of unending stewardship. For if the Bastion falls, it's the people who suffer.